Calcium for bones, strong bones, bone density myths, how to strengthen bones without calcium. You've heard it your entire life. Calcium for bones equals strong bones. It's why your parents used to serve you milk when you were a kid. This is why low-fat dairy and leafy greens are essential components of an adult's diet. If you have or are at risk for osteoporosis, you may believe that taking a daily calcium supplement is a good way to improve your bone health as you get older. However, there are advantages and disadvantages to taking the supplement, and it may not be beneficial to you. Worse, there may be harmful side effects. Myths about bone density. Osteoporosis is a disease that causes bones to become thin, weak, and brittle. In the United States, more than 8 million women have osteoporosis, and many millions more have low bone mass, which can lead to osteoporosis. Before we dive deeper into this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest video. Also, please like this video. Now let's get started. Do you realize that much of what we're told about bone health is a myth? In reality, there's a lot you can do to strengthen your bones, prevent osteoporosis, and lower your risk of fracture. Let's brush up on our knowledge. Myth 1. You cannot have osteoporosis if you take calcium on a regular basis. Yes, calcium is important, but it's a myth that simply taking a lot of it will keep your bones healthy. Many other essential nutrients, in addition to calcium, are required to protect your bones. In fact, some of those nutrients are required just to reap the benefits of calcium. For example, without enough vitamin D, your body absorbs only about 10 to 15 percent of the calcium in your diet. But with enough, absorption increases to 30 to 40 percent. Other important nutrients for bone health include magnesium, vitamin K, vitamin C, boron, strontium, and others. Our modern lifestyle prevents us from getting enough sunlight, which is necessary for vitamin D synthesis in our bodies. Myth 2. Osteoporosis is normal. Your bones should weaken as you age. Bone loss, including osteoporosis, can occur in your 30s and 40s. One of the most dangerous bone health myths is that osteoporosis is an unavoidable part of aging. Keep in mind that osteoporosis is not normal. It's a condition. While some risk factors are unchangeable, such as our age and gender, you can control many of the risk factors that contribute to excessive bone loss, osteoporosis, and fracture. The truth is that strong bones can be obtained at any age. Myth 3. A diagnosis of osteoporosis means you'll suffer a fracture. Many people with osteoporosis may not have fracture. What's more, many people who have normal bone density do experience fractures. Osteoporosis does increase your fracture risk. To identify your personal fracture risk, you can use this WHO Fracture Risk Assessment Tool. Myth 4. Osteoporosis is a female problem caused by a lack of estrogen. We often hear that osteoporosis is a women's disease that men should not be concerned about. This could be due to the long-held belief that low estrogen levels cause bone loss. However, in many countries, women maintain healthy bones for life, despite experiencing the same lower estrogen levels as the rest of us during menopause. So, while estrogen may play a role in osteoporosis, it is far from the primary cause. Unfortunately, men can develop osteoporosis as well. Myth 5. Osteopenia leads to osteoporosis. A diagnosis of osteopenia indicates that you have relatively low bone mass in comparison to the norm. For many women, this may be limited to one area rather than the entire body, and it doesn't always imply that you're losing bone. Your bones are breathing. Because bone is living tissue that constantly repairs itself, it is never too late to begin building it. Myth 6. You don't need to be concerned about osteoporosis until you reach menopause. Bone loss, including osteoporosis, can strike you in your 20s, 30s, and 40s. We typically reach peak bone mass in our 20s and then begin to lose it, with some of us losing it faster than others. Women who are thin, have celiac disease, 
have irregular menstrual cycles or poor nutrition, or use steroid drugs experience the earliest type of bone loss. Myth 7. Once you have osteoporosis, there is nothing you can do except take medication. You couldn't be more mistaken. Nutrition, physical activity, and fall prevention are all part of the natural approach to bone health. The next step is to identify and treat the underlying causes of poor bone health. Finally, medications can help you quickly regain bone mass. In a nutshell, it is a change in lifestyle. Myth 8. Osteoporosis isn't linked to other health issues. More and more, research appears to indicate that there is a link between the existence of osteoporosis and other diseases. When you build your bones, you're likely building a healthier, stronger body and improving metabolic fitness, muscle strength, blood pressure regulation, and cardiovascular health, all at the same time. Conversely, people with known medical conditions are at a higher risk of osteoporosis. Myth 9. There are no symptoms or signs of bone loss. While many people are unaware they have a bone problem until they fracture, there are signs and symptoms of bone loss. Receding gums, decreased grip strength, weak and brittle fingernails, cramps, muscle aches, and bone pain, height loss, and a lack of overall fitness are all examples. These are frequently delayed and variable, and you should not rely solely on them. By understanding the facts about bone loss, osteoporosis, and fracture, you can take steps to have better bones now and in the future. No matter what stage of life you're in, getting enough calcium in your diet is critical for good health. It is essential for the health of your bones and teeth, as well as nerve and muscle activity in your body. Growing children and teenagers require calcium for growth, and older people, particularly women, require it to prevent osteoporosis. It is also critical if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. But what if you're a vegan or can't consume dairy products due to dietary or allergy restrictions? The good news is that there are many delicious calcium-rich non-dairy foods available. You can meet your calcium requirements by eating two to three servings of calcium-rich foods per day. Dark green, leafy vegetables. These are beneficial to your overall health, but dark, leafy greens like kale, spinach, cabbage, broccoli, and bok choy are also high in calcium. Nuts and seeds. Almonds have the highest amount of calcium of any nut. They are also high in magnesium and vitamin E poppy, chia, hemp, and sesame seeds are high in calcium and easy to incorporate into breakfast foods and smoothies. Salmon and sardines in cans. Because of their soft, edible bones, these are an excellent source of calcium. Oily fish are also high in omega-3 fatty acids, which are beneficial to your brain, heart, and skin. Figs, dried. These dried fruits are higher in fiber and calcium than other dried fruits. Avoid eating too much dried fruit because it is high in sugar. Soy, almond, and rice milk are all options. These are becoming a more popular alternative to cow's milk. You can get them calcium fortified to ensure you're getting enough calcium. Tofu, tofu is a high calcium food made from soybeans. You can also buy calcium fortified tofu, which has even higher levels. Edamlane contains a lot of calcium. Lentils and beans. Beans and lentils are not only high in protein, but they are also high in calcium. Winged beans a tropical legume native to New Guinea, have the highest calcium content, followed by white beans. Foods fortified. Calcium is added to some cereals, oats, breads, and other foods. Check the label to see if they do, as this can aid in calcium absorption. Remember that a well-balanced, healthy diet will help you get all the nutrients you require. If you are unsure whether you are getting enough calcium, please consult your doctor or a healthcare provider. What do you can say? Do you ever heard about this myth? Let us know in the comment section below. And hey, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we continue giving you the best content. Thanks for watching.
See you in next video.